We have new information tonight in the deadly limo crash on Long Island's North Fork. Attorneys for the driver whose pickup truck slammed into the limo say toxicology proves their client was not legally drunk. The revelations come on the day of a funeral for another one of the young women. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports. A week of anguish for Smithtown Long Island families. Tearful mourners again gathered on this day to honor and celebrate the life and accomplishments of 23-year-old Stephanie Belly as the last of the four young friends killed in the North Fork limousine tragedy was laid to rest. A clearer but not yet complete picture of what occurred on that day is emerging. During a media briefing, the district attorney revealed the blood alcohol level of pickup truck driver Stephen Romeo as .06 below the .08 legal standard for driving while intoxicated. It was taken an hour and 40 minutes after the crash. Prosecutors are not reducing the DWI charge. At the time of the crash, the defendant's blood alcohol was most likely over .08. Drug testing is not yet completed or accident reconstruction, looking at speed, cell phone activity of both drivers, any other distractions based on further witness testimony. Romeo's attorney spoke by phone, denying their client was drunk, saying he remains in the hospital devastated. It's a tragedy all around, but the limo driver made a three-point turn. He made that U-turn. They take these limousines and they just stretch them. Victor DiPaol is a retired NYPD sergeant living on the North Fork. He says he and his neighbors are concerned about limousine safety. Big town cars converted into stretch limos, worried they're not crash-worthy, stripped of safety features, reconfigured and modified, asking if those in the middle are sitting ducks. The limousine did have seat belts. It's unclear if any of the young women were wearing them or if it would have made a difference. The DA says the four survivors will be interviewed as soon as they are physically and emotionally able. From South Pole, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. And Suffolk's district attorney defended the fact that first responders waited an hour and 40 minutes to draw the pickup driver's blood, saying the scene was chaotic and their most important mission was to save lives. Oh.